Hi guys, Amit Singh here from Train Collab and I hope you guys are doing great and first of all I'm sorry that I have not been putting a lot of videos since couple of months and uh, yeah because of some reasons but today I'm gonna show you some interesting video about how do you integrate your Azure identity provider with the Cisco CUCM or Expressway or Unity Connection or I'm in presence for the SAML single sign-on feature you know so let's get quickly started and see how can you use Azure as an ITP with your CUCM as a service provider for the SAML single sign-on feature. So let's go ahead quickly and see the CUCM SAML SSO configuration steps using the Microsoft Azure as an IDP, Identity Provider. So what are the steps that are needed? What are the steps that are needed to enable the single sign on between the CUCM and the Azure AD? So basically there are three steps. Step one is to download the service provider metadata. So basically service provider in our case is Cisco Unified Communications Manager, Unity Connection, I'm in Presence Server, um, our expressway servers but today we are only gonna see how do we do it with the help of Cisco Unified Communications Manager but the process remains almost the same and uh, but we'll see how it works also with the Unity Connection and the expressways in the future videos. The step two is to configure the identity provider, upload the service provider metadata, download the IDP metadata. That means you have to configure the Azure, then upload the CUCM metadata file on the Azure, and then download the Azure metadata so that we can upload it on our Cisco Unified Communications Manager, Unity Connection, I'm in Presence, and Expressway servers. That's the third step. In the third step, we'll be uploading this identity provider metadata, enabling or activating the single sign-on feature on the UC side, and then we'll be testing the connection. All right, these are the three steps that we are gonna do. And before we start, we understand, let's let's uh, understand who configures what, you know? So the right side of the configuration, that's step two, that needs to be done with the help of your Azure admin or identity admin in your organization or in customer organization you know it's configuring idp uploading metadata of the service provider and downloading the metadata from azure needs to be done from the identity admin the next part of the configuration which is step one and step three that needs to be done with the help of the uc admin that's you you know so you have to download the export the metadata from CUCM and send it across to your um, admin or the identity admin and then identity admin will send you again the metadata and that metadata you have to upload it in step three enable the single sign-on and test the connection all right so let's get quickly started and see what are the steps how can we configure it directly on the needed servers